I miss Grandpa Stinky and his blasphemous recipes. It's kind of tacky the way Mama Bosco hung that banner right over the sidewalk. Whee! Oh, one of Jan Hooks for hands rare portraits. He took so long to finish a painting, his subjects often died while posing. <laughs> what can I do for you boys? See you on the other side, Dr. Mama. It's gonna take some real detective work to track down that missing power core. Harry must have dug his way in here. They say they don't like to be in bright sunlight, but I say it's just an excuse to do more property damage. A brilliant excuse! Hey, neat! The eerie oozing remains of Mama Bosco's ghostly visitations. Oh, that must be ectoplasmic jelly, cause ectoplasmic jam don't shake like that! Charmingly outdated science breakthrough techno. If these findings are true, then that would mean it. Oh, no, wait, uh, I was reading it wrong. <whistles> nah. It's Mama Bosco's dimensional destabilizer thing. It's gonna take some... It's Mama Bosco... Does anybody mind if I change the channel? I could climb this thing to get a better perspective on the situation, but I need to get higher. I could climb this thing to get a better pers- I could climb- It's kind of tacky the way Mama-
Oh, hi. I remember you from the reception. Pretty cool. I could climb this thing to get a better perspective on the situation, but I need to get higher. This hard hat should only be used by people No, I already took care of that before we left. It's going to take some real detective work to track down that missing power core. This hard hat should only be used... No, don't think so. Hey, you furry pals! Ever since Girl Stinky took over the kitchen, Stinky's signature pies have gotten marginally more edible. The insect bits give the dough that extra bit of crunch. From the days when captains' wives would stand on the beach looking out towards the ocean. Oh, shame on you, Max. You know how. Oh no! Now won't. We'll... Wow, that looked painful. No kidding! You should really wear some sort of protective headgear if you're gonna fall face first into a plate of spaghetti. We'd feel better if you wore this hard hat, Clint. That's swell, fellas, but. Doris would want you to have it. Ah, oh, you're right, pals. I've just been thinking of myself all this time. Hand it over. Peanuts? You know I'm allergic to peanuts, Stinky. Are you trying to kill me? Oh, kill you? Don't be silly. Something's fishy with that, dame. Now, what do you want to know? Don't be too hard on Stinky for almost poisoning you. I'm sure it was an honest mistake. They serve so many different kinds of toxins here, they've got their own menu. Nice try, fellas, but she's on to me. I know it. I'm getting too close on this big case of mine, and she's trying to rub me out. What's this big case you're working on? Get ready to have your furry minds blown, pals, because this one goes way back. Think about it. What do we really know about this stinky doll? Well, the story is that Grandpa Stinky actually created her using some kind of demonic spell, and she's been running the diner ever since. Right, some crazy story you'd have to be an idiot to believe. Right. Idiot. So I started digging around, and I found this out back. Stinky, my queen, I cannot wait any longer. I will be making my grand appearance this afternoon. 
You say they won't trust me because I'm not human, but damn the consequences. We must start phase two of the operation now. I will call your private number with the details. Love, S. An inhuman monster in bed with Stinky, planning something big this afternoon. Name starts with S. You know what that means. Skunk ape. Oh, well, yeah, that, that could be it. I was thinking it was you, Sam. You think you know a guy. I'm not angry, Sam, just very disappointed. Come on, Max. If Stinky's in cahoots with General Skunk Ape, it may have something to do with that missing power core. Good luck, fellas. I'll let you know if I find anything else. Sam, I may be psychic now, but I've got no idea how we're gonna find out Stinky's private phone number. P.S. Just to make sure, your private number is still 212-555-8942, isn't it? Do you know anything about a power core? Yeah, Mama Bosco hired me to find it. Standard issue, find the secret invention for the scientist before it falls into the wrong hand stuff. Even you guys could do it. Yeah, no offense. Oh yeah, we totally know where it is. We were just testing you. But I'm in the middle of a case that's one hell of a lot bigger. What do you know about this creep, General Skunk Ape? Just that he tried to hire me to find some missing toys for him. I'm too busy with my other case, so I said nothing doing. You wouldn't know anything about these toys, would you? I can't lie to Flint Paper, Sam. I can, little buddy. Nope, not a thing. See ya, Flint. Hey, do my eyes look puffy to you guys? Always. I think I'd better go see Doris. She's my allergy specialist. Man, is she gonna blow her stack when she hears about those peanuts. are finally gone, but someone might be listening in. We should meet in person. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> we should go to uh, that place with the things that you like. Perfect. I'll leave right away. See you wherever that is, then, uh, my love. Oh, yeah, one more thing. Are your corn dogs really made with 100% pure beef? What? Of course not. And Sam and Max don't suspect a thing. Whew, well, that's a relief. Ever since the dairy freeze shut down, Stinky's corn dogs have been my only source of nutritious pig sphincters. What are we supposed to be doing again? Something about an alien brain, wasn't it? I see the future, Sam. I'm not so good with the present. Keep watching the sky. I'll shoot. Songs have been sung about Stinky's awful coffee. My... Uh, songs... Rat! Wow, would you look at that, Max? Amazing. It's a secret passage, Sam. Really not that big a deal.
It's a big pile of low-tech audio-video equipment, tossed out like pianos from a falling zeppelin. And it's still warm. Documentary filmmakers must be lurking nearby. Some secret passage. It's just a bunch of junk, like this old scanner. <laughs> oh boy! Whose head do we explode first? Not that kind of scan. What the? Hey, look. It's Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. What was it doing down here? That's a mystery for another episode, Max. I could probably empty out this cash register and no one would know. God would know, Sam. You're right, Max, and he won't stop pestering me about the 20 bucks he loaned me. It's one of those obsolete all-in-one scanner, fax, copy, or juice maker machines. Are you guys still looking for a fourth member? Well, hello there, beautiful. Were your moving parts properly secured when you fell from heaven? <coughs> Do not forget our seminar on workplace harassment, plus I call dibs. When exactly did this get really creepy? Thank you for joining us in a brand new style of 20th century crime fighting. You can begin submitting clues to the crime tron whenever you find them. Any ideas on the case, cops? We're sorry, we haven't been paying attention. Scan evidence with the crime hyphen tron and we will track down the villains without mercy. It looks like you're using the crime tron. Would you like help? Sure, but keep it short. Place any two pieces of evidence into the Crimetron XL multi scanner. If a piece of evidence is found on our database, you'll hear this noise. If we cannot recognize a piece, you'll hear this. After two items are inserted, our exclusive clue match technology will scan for possible connections. Advanced data analysis algorithms will compare the evidence against our 64KB database at up to 1-2 calculations per second. You're not helping. It's really not all that complicated. I can also help organize your compact disc collection. If the Crimetron can find a connection between the two pieces of evidence, it will reveal a new location on your map. Item not found in database. Item not recognized. See ya, cops. End of line.
What can I do for you boys? See you on the other side. No, she probably didn't need this thing anyway. If she wanted so bad, she should have taken better care of it. Whee! This should give that brain the jolt he needs to face the morning. Now we just need some way to hook it up. You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Don't forget the jumper cables, Sam. They were very important. Whatever the case, listen carefully. Do not trust General Skunkafe. He is... He is... Whoa. Something's happening. Toys detected. Toys detected. What are you doing, Brain? Cut it out. I can't help it. I'm... Ooh. Yogsagoth Nagulurum Yogsagoth Nagulurum Gordon's alive! I mean, what a pleasant surprise. Tell me, friend Brain, where is the toy? Two toys. Two weak. Can't trace. Uh... Curses! Very well. I'll find them myself. Is he gone? Yeah, the coast is clear. What just happened? I don't know. I've never felt anything like that. The toys of this planet must have astonishing power. Where is Skunk Ape's collection of magic toys? He keeps them on display as a show of power. I'm regaining control over the ship's functions so I can reveal them to you. Behold! That's it? That's it! It's a toy that lets you teleport across vast distances in the blink of an eye using only the power of your mind. That's not cool enough for you? It's just, we saw more toys in Max's vision. More toys? You must not have found them yet. They must still be somewhere in this city. You have to find them before Skunkape does, or he'll destroy us all! Sam and Max, do not trust Skunkape! His benevolent facade belies a heart of pure evil! Uh, yeah, we kind of already figured that out. The giant fang spaceship with disintegrator eyes was our first clue. Are you calling me gullible? Uh, what? Look, I don't know what planet you're from. This one, actually. But on my world, if an alien invites you onto his spaceship, you don't just assume that he's going to cut out your brain and keep it in a jar. I guess we're just not that cynical. To be fair, Max, your future vision goggles did tip us off. You mean, you wield the eyes of Yog sagoth But, but that must mean you also have the gift. 
In the future, you seem to know all about Max's psychic powers. Yes, Max is one with the gift. The toys have great power, but only to those of us with a special brain. Well, Max does have a special brain. That's what all the teachers said. Well, that and back, back, I cast thee out, demon. You must use the gift wisely, Max, and keep it secret from General Skunkape. The power is every bit as dangerous as it is wicked awesome. Why do you think Max's powers are dangerous? Apart from the obvious, of course. General Skunkape can't use the toys of power himself, so he needs the brain of someone who has the gift. He forced me to use my power so much that I would have died had you not rescued me. If he ever found out you have the gift, Max, he wouldn't hesitate to do the same to you. What's your story, Brain? Can we get you anything? Like a spine? No, it's too late for me, I'm afraid. I can only help you put a stop to General Skunkape's evil schemes by controlling the doors and the higher functions of this spaceship. We must work quickly before... What is in this broth? Is that oregano? It's delightful. Stay focused, pal. How did you get here? I have found a mysterious toy, and was using my strange power over it to amaze and delight the ladies of my village. It was then that Skunkape's ship landed. He was intrigued with my power, and invited me on board his spaceship. So you just went with him? He said he had candy! How was I supposed to know he'd imprison me here, forcing me to use my psychic powers against my will? What's that mole processing room all about? Isn't it obvious? General Skunkape is illegally harvesting mole juice! Mole juice? What did you look like back when you had a body? Oh, nothing exceptional. About 6'3", raven-haired. I had what you Earthlings call a runner's build. I can read minds in the future, you know. All right, fine. I believe the closest creature you have on your planet is called a platypus. What is Skunk Ape's evil scheme, anyhow? No less than domination of the entire universe! Did he ever mention anything more specific? He's traveling from planet to planet, searching for all the toys of power. If he ever manages to collect all of them, he'll be completely unstoppable! Why did Skunk Ape come here, to our street? He's been using my strange psychic connection to the Toys of Power to track them throughout the galaxy. Something very powerful pulled me to this spot. I can only guess it was Max's discovery of the eyes of Yog sagoth and the future vision. How are we supposed to stop Skunk Ape? Any weaknesses, like he's powerless against the color yellow, or he can't cross running water? Or he's powerless against yellow water? I know what you're thinking, Max, and stop it. Well, of course, the toys of power are useless to him without a gifted brain to control them. Apart from that, he always says he has a weakness for potato chips, and he has to eat the whole bag. Yeah, that doesn't really help us much. Sometimes, when he's in the shower, I could swear I hear him crying. Okay, that's all the evidence we need. Let's go out and deliver some interplanetary justice, Max. If you end up cutting out his brain, I call dibs on Skunkape's body. Aren't you going to try the teleportation power? Sure, we'll try it out later. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is everything okay, Brain? It's just, I've never seen it. I'm just a brain in a jar. Can't really use it. It sounded cool as all. Okay, fine. We'll do it now. Spaceship is secure. If I could have a moment, sirs. Hello, Sam, Mr. President. If you have a moment, you need to be debriefed. Too late! This may come as a shock, but our intel indicates that General Skunkape is actually quite evil. No! Okay, 
What's the real story behind Skunk Ape? General Skunk Ape is an intergalactic criminal warlord. There's been a galaxy-wide gorilla hunt in effect ever since he escaped from the penal zone. The what zone? Penal. It's an interdimensional prison for the most dangerous villains in the universe. How are we supposed to get Skunk Ape back into the penal zone? The United Planets have simple and easily reproducible fail-safe measures in place to handle escaped convicts. Well, that's a relief. All we need to do is open an unstable trans-dimensional gateway to the penal zone, and his prisoner's badge will take care of the rest. I didn't notice Skunk Ape wearing any kind of badge or homing beacon. That's because he wasn't wearing one, sir. I find it extraordinarily alarming. Whoa, 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 calm down. We can't think with all your hysterics. Forgive me, Mr. President, but unless you can find General Skunkape's homing beacon and place it on him, we're powerless to stop him. What did this homing beacon look like? It's a standard issue intergalactic correctional facility inmate's badge. It can't be destroyed, so the only way he could have gotten rid of it is by giving it to someone else. Where is Skunk Ape now? We can't track him without his homing beacon, sir. This will require some traditional detective work. Will reckless and irrational detective work do? Because that's all we know. I'd recommend starting with some of his known contacts. I'm pretty sure I never heard of a Department of Homeworld Security agent, Super Bowl. Established in 1901 by Theodore Roosevelt after President McKinley's assassination by one of the insectors of the Nebulon Empire. I'm President of the United States! Why didn't I hear anything about it? It's explained in books, sir. All right. Is that why you were hanging out in our office so much last season? I mean, a few months ago? To protect Max? Um, uh, sure. Wow. I feel really close to you right now, Agent Superball. Likewise, sir. A bit too close. We have to open an unstable, trans-dimensional gateway? You must have lost your senses, man! The odds against that are astronomical! Even if we did know what that was. The gateway is the easy part, sirs. Dr. Mama Bosco's reckless and blasphemous work tearing down the fabric of reality could be useful. What do we need from Mama Bosco? Her dimensional destabilizer can open a gateway to the penal zone. Anyone wearing a prisoner's homing beacon will be returned to justice automatically and scientifically. Don't worry, Superball. We'll hit that gorilla where it hurts the most. Right in the penal yes, zone! Yes, I get it, sir. <laughs> Max, this unassuming telephone unlocks the gift of teleportation. <laughs> Using the power of your mind, you can teleport yourself to any phone number you have memorized. Oh boy, I want to try it right now! I don't like the thought of you teleporting off without me, Max. You can go too, Sam. Max will teleport anyone he's touching. Watch the hands! Does your family have a history of psychic powers, Max? No, my old Papa Maximus always believed in the old-fashioned ways to set things on fire or make them explode. I wonder where General Skunk Ape ran off to. He's probably doing what everybody does their first time in New York. Teaming up with loose women and going on a citywide search for magic psychic toys? There's a reason it's such a cliché, Sam. These psychic powers of yours are pretty neat. <sighs> I guess. It's just too bad I didn't have them on prom night. Cheer up, pal. Just think of all the destruction you can cause. Now all kinds of bad guys are going to be after your eerie powers and your freakish body. Tell them to get in line. I've got all kinds of ladies trying to get a piece of this body. I already explained that, Max. Those ladies want you for cosmetics testing. See you, Max. Keep in touch! Hey, Brain, can you open this door for us? You want to go into the mole processing room? But it's a horrible place! Official business. Besides, it's for mole people only. Perfect! We're part mole man! Odd, you don't look molish. By marriage. There were rituals. 
Very well. I will try. Welcome. Congratulations! Prepare yourself for a fabulous off-world vacation, courtesy of General Skankabe. I'm very excited! Why aren't there any doors? You'll feel a slight tingle as we take your personal items for safekeeping. Slight tingle? Whoa, hey now! Yeah. Oh, screw the vacation! I wanna keep doing this! Error. Cannot remove inventory. Where do you keep your personal items? That's none of your damn business, computer. Very well. Beginning Mole Man processing. Sam, why is the floor so slippery? For the comfort of guests waiting outside, please refrain from screaming or crying out. Do you smell something burning? Sam, why haven't we ever seen any mole people come out of here? Enjoy the rest of your experience, and remember that your sacrifice is for the glory of General Skankabe. Sacrifice? Are we going to die, Sam? Depends on whether we can think of a way out of this death trap, little buddy. Oh no, all my stuff is locked inside that container. Teleportation. 